Member for Courtney Comox. Mr. Speaker, on Sunday I had a great opportunity to meet displaced Ukrainians who've settled in the Comox Valley. Oksana Masieva, apologies for mispronouncing names, herself a displaced Ukrainian, translated in a room eager to speak with me. Oksana is the integration coordinator hired by the Comox Valley Ukrainian Cultural Society with funding from the Provincial Refugee Readiness Program. The meet and greet I attended is held monthly in the Comox Valley Presbyterian Church, thanks to congregant Mary Bitroff. I first met Mary at a meeting sparked last year by Courtney Mayor Bob Wells in expectation of an influx of Ukrainians. Those who had something to offer came out and a network began to grow. Relentless Eugene Hroshoi from the Comox Valley Ukrainian Society was quick to connect. With a proud Ukrainian heritage, the small group of 17 with no Ukrainian language could not have foreseen the critical role they would play. Their numbers have grown to about 60 members and their efforts are nothing short of a miracle. Jeanette Martin Lutzer, President, Donna Baydock, Secretary Treasurer, and Leah Carlos, along with Eugene, are all hands-on leaders with the Youth Society, working to support 145 displaced Ukrainians. Laura, Laura Palahiki has organized English classes. She's also undertaken the organization of a pierogi and holopchi dinner fundraiser through COVID-19, with cars lined around town to pick up their dinners when the food ran out. People still donated. Ongoing fundraising saw 3,400 pierogies made in one day this past weekend. Before he died, as mayor, Comox Mayor Russ Arnott made sure town facilities were available to support our new Ukrainian neighbours. And there's so much more that's been done. A candlelight vigil is planned for 5 p.m. on Friday, February 24th at Comox Marina Park, the first anniversary of the war a time to stand in solidarity and join in community efforts to help displaced Ukrainians build their, their new lives here. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.